Okay, welcome back, uh, over 50 fans and uh, fellow Kiari Warriors. I am doing my week 14 post-op video and also had a few questions that were asked about recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and just talk about those. Somebody asked a question about getting the jab, and I'm going to use that terminology so that YouTube doesn't dislike this video, but I think you can probably figure out what the jab is. Um, a lot of people are getting it. Um, the jab did not negatively affect my Chiari recovery. In fact, I got the first jab prior to about two weeks prior to surgery and then two weeks after surgery. Actually, I was supposed to have the second jab like four days before surgery and the Mayo Clinic said, no, that's not a good idea. Don't do it right before and don't do it right afterwards. So I got the second jab about two weeks after my surgery and I, you know, I just had, you know, normal, you know, arm pain and all that. But as far as, you know, any Chiari um, symptoms coming back or something like that, nothing, nothing to report from the jab. So that was my personal experience. I'm not a doctor, so I can't, you know, I can't tell you, but you know, from my situation, it didn't affect anything. How long do you have to wait to drive? You have to wait until you get full range of motion. I did this in another video, but the question keeps coming up, so I just thought I would do it again. You have to be able to do that and to do that. If you've got full range of motion, basically you gotta be able to look over your shoulder to check for traffic. If you can do that, you can drive. If that's four weeks, it might be four weeks. Some people that are in their 30s or late 20s, early 30s that have the surgery, they might be behind the wheel in four weeks. I'm 51, so it was more like six and a half, seven weeks before I felt comfortable enough to go out on the roads, well, you know, not be a, a not be a danger to other people. Walking post up, you need to try to get up, you need to try to get around, you need to try to walk as much as possible. I know it's not going to be easy. You're going to be in a lot of pain. I've been there. Okay, been there, done that. What I would suggest doing is you need to first off have caretakers or caregivers that can that are there to help you full time okay you're going to need them you're going to need to rely on them but i would use a cane and use a cane and i would just use it as a crutch and if i needed to put it down i did and i would just try to walk as much as i could when i go outside i'd try to walk down to the down to the street you know down my driveway and back and then i come sit in my chair start with short walks and then gradually um you know, stretch them out to, to being longer walks. Some people like to use walkers. I don't like to use walkers because I've got some, a couple steps in my house and just lifting it up over the steps, I didn't feel like I could do that. So a cane was much easier. Uh, finally, the constipation. If you are constipated, you are not going to want to try, you know, that's going to make, going to the restroom is going to be an issue because, you know, anytime you strain, cough, sneeze or something like that after surgery, you get like a nagging headache right here. It feels like someone's just taking up a hammer and popping you in the head. I used Miralax, just put it in my coffee, and that that worked. It took a couple days, but I would just put a big scoop of it in with my coffee, and that was that. So right now, I'm going to show you my scar. Um, this is 14 weeks out of post-op. My son's going to take over the camera here, so hopefully we get this done. Um, but you can see the scar and it's healing quite well. I'm very pleased with um, what my doctor did. That little bump at the bottom is, I believe it's a, I believe it's like a stitch that hasn't quite maybe come out or something. So when I go back on August 2nd, my three, basically three months roughly since I've had surgery, um, when I, you know, the doctor, I'm going to ask him about that, but I don't, I don't see that being, a major concern or anything but um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video if you would please click the subscribe button subscriptions really help I'm trying to reach more fellow warriors out there and you clicking that subscribe button helps me do that like the video if you like the video please comment if you have other questions that you want to ask I will do another video on them I, it's hard for me to know what questions everybody has I'm on very uh, several Kiari message boards on Facebook and a lot of people ask questions there, so that's where I pull them to my videos. But if you would like to do that in the comment section, that would be great. Please share this video with your friends out there. 
And until next week, when it's week 15, um, I hope you guys are all safe and take care. Bye now.